So, um, when I had installed that new router and modem, it changed the Wi-Fi networks, obviously. So I never set up my computer again for it. And it has been a pain in the ass. I thought it's as simple as to go to Add Devices and Printers in the uh, Settings in Windows 10 and just click a couple buttons and... You know, if only it would be that easy, life would be fantastic. So I just went ahead and ran this software. If you go to their website, they'll have something like this for you to download. Uh, let's not put that on camera. So if you go ahead and download that file and run it, it'll go ahead and give you something like this. I'm in the U.S. I wish I was in Canada. License agreement. This one here, you have to say yes. This one here is an option. Do you want to do a survey? No. Go away. Hit next. Want to do it wirelessly? Yes. Next. Via the router? Yes. Next. Hey, make sure it's on. Well, we just saw a second ago it is on. So it'll, it'll try to detect it. And trust me, it's not going to work. So you wait. And you wait. And when you're done waiting, you wait some more. So as we can see, just to verify, the printer is on. It's got this little Wi-Fi thing here. So if it doesn't find it, you're going to go ahead and click the update button again. And it's going to research. Then you wait. So while we're waiting for this, I think it's a good time just to point out if you have a dual or tri-band router like we do, it's the 2.4 gigahertz network and the 5 gigahertz. 5 gig is for newer devices. So if you just went and updated all the devices in your house, you could probably do it on the 5. We still have some older devices and older cell phones that only do 2.4. So I'm going to go ahead and, oh, I should say, not I'm going to go ahead, but down here. Here's the 5G. And this one here is the 2.4. So I went ahead and I'm going to connect it to the 2.4 so that way everything will work. Old devices, new devices. Oh, look at that. It's still not up there. So what's going on? Make sure that checkbox is checked. Setting printer could not be located on the list. Then you click next. And it brings you here. So just click next. So this is the fun part that to me makes no sense. So I I got through step one here. Step two is so unintuitive. So let me go show you. So I was able to figure out that holding this here and the button up there will start flashing. So I said okay. And I kept trying everything. Turns out totally intuitive. You hit color, not black, not this button. You have to hit color and then you press this. See, look at that. Now it's blinking. So now we're going to go back in the other room and connect it. We did that. We just go ahead and click next. Uh, blah, blah, blah. That's solid on. That's flashing. Yes. We just saw that. Click next. And now we wait. See a recurring theme here? There's a lot of waiting. So after quite some time, it pops up and says connection completed. So you hit next, it's going to go ahead, it's going to install more garbage on your computer that you could always remove later, like My Image Garden. Ooh, create a card or a calendar. It's called Microsoft Word. You can do that in there too, by the way. So then of course, you do a little more waiting. It shows this helpful screen. Then it's going to install more stuff. So after doing some more waiting, print head alignment recommended, just hit next. Uh, test print. I'm going to test it in a minute. Next. What other junk do you want on your computer? No. Sure, I'll leave my printer. All the rest of this can just get taken off of here. I don't need any of that garbage. Next. Then you get to wait some more. And it pops up with user registration. I had already done that a while ago. Um, 
yeah, skip, exit. It's gonna bring up its website. Get out of here. So I have a legal document. I'm gonna go ahead, go up here, Zopper GX. Um, I'm actually my cursor's up on the right there. See near the printer. Hit print. 3600 series. Okay, let's see if it actually works. Hit print. And theoretically, after all of that, it should finally print. Ooh, that's not good. Someone needs to buy ink. <laughs> I'm sitting here waiting for it to print. I actually printed it and fell all on the ground. So, uh. There you go. It's a pain in the butt. It shouldn't be that hard. But that's how you do it. Now, nobody's going to be watching this video because it's kind of an older printer. But if you, for some reason, do and you like it, you don't have to subscribe, don't comment, just, just give a thumbs up. Thanks for watching.